pinch and a punch for the first of the month. Happy Thursday, it is the 1st of July. And to celebrate the first day of July, I've got a two part workout for you. The first part is three rounds, a round of eight, a round of seven, and a round of six. The second round is three parts, a round of five, a round of four, and a round of three. In that first part, the eight, seven, six, you're gonna do deadlift, you're gonna do power clean, you're gonna do power snatch at 60 and 40 kilos. As soon as you finish that, your second part, which you're going to immediately, is going to be burpees to a target, chest to bar pull-ups and front squats at the same weights as your part A workout. Now whatever barbell weight you do have for that first part, you're going to use the same barbell weight for the entire workout. So you've got four movements on the barbell, deadlift, power clean, power snatch, front squat. Whatever weight you choose, that is your weight. When you make it into that second part, the option for the burpee to a target is going to be bike calories from zero. So you have to reset the bike to zero every single round. For the chest to bar pull-ups, you're welcome to take a band attach it to the bar, and then you're gonna do chest to bar or maybe just regular pull-ups, but they have to be strict. There's no kipping version available for banded pull-ups. And as I mentioned before, the front squat is gonna be the same weight as your part A workout, all right? So you'll already know what you're doing for that one, but you are welcome to do the cross arm if you're not doing the front rack today. Now, clearly, when you look at this workout, uh, four of the six movements are very, very grip intense. They're not just grippy, all right? They don't just use some grip, they are grip intense. So. When you get onto the very first round of deadlifts, you might be thinking, yeah, I'm gonna definitely do this unbroken, I'll go straight into my cleans. Cool, so that's 16 repetitions. Consider breaking up things like the deadlift, which might look like the easy part, so that when you get into the snatches and later on into the chest bars, you still have some grip gas left in the grip tank. And let me double down on that. So if you're doing, let's say you're gonna do a 20 kilo barbell because you're thinking maybe, let's say the power snatches, you're like, bro, power snatches are just my, my, my devil. My, my devil. All right, so I'm gonna go 20 kilos for the whole thing. That's awesome, all right? Your movement patterns should be immaculate. Now, if you're looking at whatever the weight is, be it 60, 40, 20, whatever, and you're thinking my movement patterns will be kind of dog shit, then you are welcome to lower that weight but it is the same weight for the whole workout. And if there's just one of those four barbell movements, you're like, well, that's a sticky point, but the other ones, I'm a, I'm a killer, I'm a murderer, I could do it at 100 kilos. Well, today you're gonna practice doing it really well at a lighter weight, congratulations. You are gonna get so good at this. And another great reason to save a bit of the grip through this workout is the sneaky gains today is 100% bar muscle ups. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you're swinging by tomorrow, make sure you bring your wall ball shoes.